So following on from my video the other day, which demonstrated that the weight of an object will actually change with latitude, the other part of my experiment was to test this uh, weight and scale on a moving aircraft. And uh, I was able to do that today. Now, just to rehash the theory quickly, the idea is that as the Earth is rotating, the equator is moving at the highest linear speed. Now, it's about 1,040 miles per hour, and that speed reduces as you go further south towards the South Pole. It also reduces as you go north from the equator towards the North Pole, and it's that reduction in speed which reduces the centrifugal force from the rotation, and that's why the object will appear heavier the further you go away from the equator. And that's why we had the reading in Perth, and the value in Broome was a lot lower. So what um, I did today is I took the weight on board an aircraft and I was very fortunate that uh, I had a flight, a commercial flight from Perth to Sydney and it was very smooth. And uh, we had a very strong tailwind at the same time. We were actually um, moving along at faster than 600 miles per hour ground speed. So when we combine the speed of the rotation of the earth with that extra 600 miles per hour, per hour we were moving east at a faster rate than if we were at the equator. So let's have a look at what we've got so far. I just made a table of the values and readings I've had uh, over the last few weeks. And uh, in Broome, as you saw, we're approximately 18 degrees south. I've just rounded that to the nearest whole degree. And we had a reading of 499.45 grams. In Perth, which is where the scales were calibrated, it's 32 south degrees, and it was 500.00 grams, and that was verified a second time. And Sydney, we'll come back to Sydney, that's about 34 degrees south. Canberra is 35 degrees south, and we had a reading of 500.16 grams. Now, let's also consider we're in the aircraft flying 600 miles per hour east at approximately 34 south latitude, that's going to give us a linear speed across the ground of 1,462, so significantly faster than the 1,040 miles per hour at the equator. So this is going to indicate that if the weight is actually less than 500 grams, and if it's significantly less than the value in Broome, then we now have a confirmation that the aircraft is actually following curvature as it's flying. So that's a real verification of curvature of the Earth and the fact that aircraft are following. The fact that this weight, which is a 500 gram known weight calibrated for Perth, will indicate a lower weight flying in an aircraft. Now let's also have a look at Sydney because when I landed in Sydney, the first thing I did was uh, just test the calibration of the scales again. Now in theory, because Sydney is north of Canberra, but south of Perth, the value that we should read is something between 500 grams and 500.16 grams. So what I'll do now is just play the video. There's uh, The initial part is just a, a quick um, clip of the aircraft before I got on it in Perth. And then I'll skip straight to the end and I'll show you the clip from Sydney when I landed and you'll see what the actual value was you'll see that it actually was something between Perth and Canberra as predicted. So, so that's verifying the theory and it's also verifying the methodology is accurate. And then I'll go to the, uh, the onboard video that was taken today in the aircraft while we're about halfway across Australia in steady level flight. Now I took a lot of video. I've actually got probably over an hour of it. But I'll just uh, include uh, one clip. If anyone wants to see any of the other clips, I'm more than happy to uh, put them all together and upload those also. But I think uh, this is going to show you everything you need. So that's the plane I'm catching back to Sydney uh, in about 20 minutes and uh, hopefully I'll be able to do some experiments on board. Beautiful day again here in Perth. So I just got off the flight in uh, Sydney, and this is the Qantas domestic terminal at Sydney Airport. And uh, just to show you that uh, the scales are still accurately calibrated, 
I'll put the weight on and remember Sydney is slightly further south latitude than Perth so it should be more than 500 grams but we're north of Canberra so it should be less than the reading that I had in Canberra so let's take a look Five hundred point zero seven grams in Sydney, at uh, just under thirty four degrees south latitude. Works perfectly. And as you could see in flight, the weight was significantly less, and that was due to following the curvature of the Earth going east with a very strong tailwind. We had uh, more than a thousand kilometres an hour ground speed for most of the flight.
So there it is, folks. Solid evidence that an aircraft is actually following the curvature of the Earth as it flies. And uh, flying in an easterly direction with a strong tailwind results in enough centrifugal force while we're flying that this weight was reduced by a full 5 grams on average. Now that's uh, about 1% weight, which is also confirmed by the previous video I made, which shows our own aircraft G-meter showing 0.99 G flying east on basically the same route with the same type of tailwind. And the other piece of evidence was when we landed in Sydney and uh, the first thing I did was test the scales, I got a reading of 500.07 grams. So again, that fits the theory perfectly. It proves the theory and it proves the methodology is solid. 500.07 in Sydney is between Perth and Canberra. So at this point, I think the only thing left to say is game over. Thanks for playing.